Igish Fiontek versus Elena Svetolina is the second quarter final for the ladies Wimbledon for 2023. And both players have had to battle their way to the quarterfinal stage. Svetolina started the tournament as an unseated wild card and will take on Venus Williams in the first round. This was easy for Svetolina, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on the number 28 seed Mertens. And after splitting the first two sets, Fedelina would run away with it. 6-1, 1-6, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifier Kennan, who had taken out Goff in the first round. And after a close first set, Fedelina would get through in straights. 7-6, 6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on the number 19 seed Azarenka. It'd been very impressive throughout the week. And this was a classic. With Fedelina having to fight back from a set down and play a super tie break at the end, eventually prevailing in three, 2-6, 6-4, 7-6, six, to advance to another Wimbledon quarterfinal. Igor Shriante Start of the tournament off as number one seed and will take on Zhu in the first round. There's no problem for Fiontek winning in straights. 6-1, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Tormo. And again, no problem for Sviontek getting through in straights. 6-2, 6 love. Third round, she'd take on the 30th seed Mardic, who had played two three setters to get to the stage. And after an easy first set, Fiontek would have to fight in the second, getting through in straights again. 6-2, 7-5. In the fourth round, she'd take on the number 14 seed Bencic, who'd been to the fourth round a couple of times at Wimbledon over her career. And this was a struggle, with Fiontek being down a set and match points, fighting back to win to get through in a three-hour match. 6-7, 7-6, 6-3 to advance to her first Wimbledon quarterfinal. These two have only played the one time before. That was in Rome two years ago. Shriante getting the win that day in straight sets, but totally different surface. Rome is, of course, one of the slower clay courts. And we're playing on grass, which is a much quicker court. Could change the result here. Svetolina's going to win this one. She needs to use the crowd. Everybody loves this story with Svetolina coming back from having a kid, you know, playing so well at Slam so quickly as well because she only came back a couple of months ago and I reckon she was going to get the crowd, so use the crowd. And also just try and get everything back from Sviantec. We know that the more you get back in Sviantec, the harder it is for her to hit a winner. So if she can just get more of the shots back, maybe she can frustrate Sviantec a little bit. Sviantec's going to win this one. She needs to be more aggressive. Against Bencic, she was the more defensive player because, of course, Bencic hits the ball so flat and hard. So Sviantec's going to have to be that player unless she wants to play 30-shot rallies with Svetolina. She's going to have to be a little bit more aggressive than she was against Bencic. It's going to be such a fun matchup. Of course, the great story of Svetolina and, of course, Fiontech making it to her first quarterfinal of Wimbledon and possibly going to make it three out of the last four slams. If she can win this tournament, I'm going to go with Fiontech to win this one. I feel like she just has a little bit more left in the tank. She only had that really tough match against Bencic. She doesn't have to play too many tough matches. And also, the moment and the experience level at the moment is on with Fiontech. Of course, Svetolina is still coming back, but let me know in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.